Wow. This geisha chocolate has been expired since May 2021. So today is March 27, 2022. So let's see how an expired geisha chocolate milk chocolate looks like. So since I'm handling expired products, I put on gloves. So let's see. And I'm also even putting on my mask. That's why it's possible the sound of my voice is quite different from without a mask. So this is how it looks like. Oh, it looks like not expired. But it's, it's hard. And I'm not even placing it in the fridge. I just put it here outside near my study area. On the table actually of my study area not just near but on the table of my study area I'm actually looking for signs of presence of molds even if it's dark I'm not seeing something green which represents molds this was manufactured 2020 expired in 2021 and today it's March 2022 Manufacturing date, May. So let's crack open. Uh, it's really hard. Yeah, eh. siya ah. Hello, I believe ako wala modes. See? It has a hazelnut feeling. It says soft, pero nigahit naman siya. Okay, expired na lagi niya. Dili na siya soft feeling. But wala siya presence of molds. Other, let's continue. Wala bit ba? I can still smell. Nahumot siya. Again. Ah, kahiyan na dyan. Malang good name. Na-expire na gani. Gahit na kayo. Ako, ananig moisture. Bahi ajud. Ah. See, the feeling inside is no longer soft. It claims to have a soft hazelnut feeling. Pero wa na eh. Wa na na also. Ah. Gahi. Pero wala lagi siya yung molds. Piliban ako. Talagang pag na itong chance. I-open nilang ganito yung natatanan. Wala gudo. Ikumpara sa bubble gums. And candies. Kaning gay siya. Wala siya. Next. Hmm. Wala gyapon. I don't know if you will test it good. For microorganisms. Possible, possible na. Ano gini growth no. Expired na good kini. Pero by the naked eye. I can see any signs of the presence of molds. Sayang ka, yung period nung gudi makaon kay. Makaon pa ka ano yung expired na. Sobra na kayo expire. Nakaigit niya ta ano yung. Wala wala yun do. Pila naman na itong na-open. lagi sakit na lang akong hawak kan eh 
Wala gyud so ato pening hot dun. Sig basen gid egg natay makita na. Pero mo lagi na gahi lang gid siya. We have how many left? Sinaw pa. Slightly sinaw. So, maayo iyahan ko ano, packaging. Although, it cannot protect it from the loss of moisture. Okay. From the box. Dritso naman. Wala pa may primary, secondary naman. Wala may tertiary pa dyan. Makaingon ko maayo na yung pagka-formulate nila ba kay in terms of say tawag ana ano bang ang growth sa microorganisms kung makadaot sa tiyan ba kasi wala wag yung makita do the signs of molds which I, I was expecting to see. So, ito na lang yung hot doon kay we have three, three more. Wala lagi. I wish I have a tool or equipment to test the microorganisms, pero wala man taana kay equipment the laboratory. Mahal sa gunong patesting para lang hani. Mm, one more, two more to go. Ang gati eh, yung packaging kay foil magiday siya o. Oh. Actually, gito yung gudi kay kaning silver. Nanasad na siya yung marag antibacterial protection. Antibacterial, anti... Not just bacterial, but mga microorganisms ba? Wala, wala na. Purot na. As in, wala agad siya ay signs of mold. Sa akong makita ha, sa naked eye. Ambot na ka sa microscope. Ito kayo wala. So, if you stretch the packaging, nice to siya. Pink and gold. Pretty ka ay. So, I guess that's it. So, agad tayo nakita ang molds, no? So, ang lesson ani, ayaw pa expire, ha? Kaya sayang kaya din yung makao niya. Humot kayo siya, lamay siya. Thank you for watching. Bye! See you next time!